Greetings everyone. My name is Declan McKevna and I'm speaking to you from Belfast in Ireland where I'm spending the summer. So unfortunately I can't be physically present with you on this particularly auspicious occasion. Um, I first came into contact with François Brunet in 1991 when we were introduced to each other at a meeting that had been arranged to indeed introduce each other at our publishers, uh, then Presse Pocket, um, who were, are still our specialists in language methods and books concerning the learning of languages. They thought that Francois and I might just be a good couple to put together what was a nascent dictionary of slang, Le Dictionnaire Bilingue de la Groupe d'Aujourd'hui. François and I immediately got along with each other and it was quite clear that there was a meeting of waters and that, well, hopefully we could do something together. So we exchanged telephone numbers, uh, of course, <laughs> landlines, not mobile numbers because they were mobile were very few and far between back then. And we went home that evening and I called François just to kind of dot the T's uh, and talk about uh, you know what our future project might entail and so I phoned him up and we were chatting on the phone and at the time I lived in Belleville um, in the Rue du Faubourg du Temple and uh, an ambulance drove past my uh, my flat and strangely enough I heard a similar sound coming from the other end of the phone uh, on François's end and lo and behold, it was the same ambulance we were hearing at the same time. And that's how we discovered that we lived barely 50 meters from each other. So that clearly was going to make uh, any working relationship a lot easier from a proximity point of view in Paris. Um, five years later, and a lot of hard work uh, under the bridge, we finally, in 1996, uh, published the Dictionnaire Bilingue d'aujourd'hui after we had worked every single weekend and every single holiday together. So you can imagine we got to know each other pretty well, all the good sides and the other sides of each other. Um, but we became close friends and remained close friends. And the dictionary sold well and Francois and I were on France Inter, we were on France Culture, we did um, Canal Plus, etc, etc. So we had a great old time uh, at that particular moment. So as I say, we got to know each other pretty well and I discovered a François Brunet who was an absolutely fascinating man. His, his passion obviously for, for literature was incredible. He was a grammarian um, by academic background. He, of course, he loved linguistics. Uh, quite clearly, it was interested in, in, in dictionaries for obvious reasons. And then, of course, he was also a philosopher. His love of food and wine and music uh, were all very eclectic. And, of course, most importantly, regarding today's gathering, he had a very keen interest in photography. I remember uh, very early on in our relationship, he described how he would pick up uh, photographs that he saw lying around in the street uh, uh, in odd places and his idea was to have a, an exhibition inventing stories behind the, 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 the unknown people in the photographs which I thought was an absolutely wonderful idea. Um, several years later when Francois uh, became the director uh, of the Franco-British uh, College um, I managed uh, to set up a meeting between Jean Pascal, Jean Pascal um, Cibier, and François, because Jean Pascal was looking for a venue to organize a debate um, within the context of the Franco British connections. And so um, I organized a meeting between the three of us in, uh, in François's uh, apartment um, here, when I say here, where you are uh, at the CTU. And of course, François was very receptive, loved the idea, and the debate took place, and that was the beginning of another relationship between Jean Pascal and François. And lo and behold, here we are back in the Collège Franco-Britannique, 
and the connection between uh, photography, François Brunet, and the Franco-British connections themselves has been validated and continues. I'm very pleased to be able to address you and talk to you about a man that I cherish deeply and his, his memory will continue and I'd like to thank Jean Pascal and the Franco-British Connections for having um, chosen Francois um, as a kind of a mentor for this particular uh, first and I hope annual version of the photographic competition. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup de votre écoute. Goramila ma agaf as belfarisja and enjoy the rest of the evening. Goodbye.